Okay, guys, so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to create a the user interface. So we're going to create the search page itself and the a custom tree view widget. So we're going to create the search page. So we're going to do class search page. This is going to inherit from tk.frame. So what that means is that this page itself is a um, tick into frame. And we're going to create the constructor and it's going to take self and parent. So parent is the parent needed for the TK frame in order to initialize the object. And super is the um, constructor for that. So let's go underscore in it, underscore underscore. And it's going to take in the parent as well. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to create the list box. So self dot, we're going to call it file underscore names underscore list box is going to be equal to tk dot list box. The parent is going to be parent or the master. Select mode is going to equal tk dot single, which is a constant. And that basically means we can only select um, one item in this list box at a time. And the background of this list box is going to be equal to dark gray. Okay. And then we're going to place it. So self dot file underscore names underscore list box dot place. The um, relative height is going to be equal to one. So it's going to fill up the whole y axis and the x axis is going to take up is equal to 0 0.25. So it's going to take up a quarter of the screen. So no matter if you um, resize the screen or whatever, it's going to be a quarter of that size. Okay, so now next is why we need a D&D. So why we need D&D is to make this, um, this box a drop target or to register it as a drop target. So drop underscore target underscore register and D&D underscore files. If you've seen my previous video, what that basically means is that the file type and um, the type of um, the type of target that this list box can register is a file type. So if I drop a file type into this list box, it will take the path of that file type. Okay. And then we're also going to do another bind on this list box. Oh, sorry, we're going to do a bind on this list box. That's going to be dnd underscore bind. So dot dnd underscore bind. And we're going to bind a drop event. Okay, and we're going to to do, we're going to create a bind, to do, bind. Do that very shortly. And then self dot, file names list box dot bind. So we're gonna do a normal bind, to into bind. And it's gonna be the double click of the left button. So double one, and that's gonna trigger an event. So again, to do, Binding. So we need to do binding for this. And next widget we're going to create is the search box at the top. So search underscore entry box entry box equals tk dot entry. And parent widget is going to be parent. Okay. And parent in this case, I'm going to show you that in a second. We're going to place this widget to self dot search entry box dot place. So the relative X is going to be 0 0.25. So as you know, you've got your um, plane 0 0.25 um, X is means it's going to be like a quarter of the screen. That's where this widget is going to be placed at a quarter of the screen. Okay. And the width we're going to give that um, widget. So rel width is going to be equal to 0 0.75. So that's going to basically fill up three quarters of the screen. And self dot search entry box dot bind. So we're going to bind. So we're going to create a bind for it. And the bind is going to be the return key. So when you press the return or enter key, what's going to happen is it's going to trigger an event. But we're going to do the binding for that soon. So to do binding. Okay, so now um, what I'm going to do is just create the parent. So here we're going to create the search page. So self dot search on 
underscore page is equal to search page. So the class we just created and the parent is basically going to be equal to self dot main underscore frame. So what this means is that this search page class will be bound to this main frame. So all these objects are going to be tied to that main frame. Okay, so let's save and let's run that. Okay, cool. So here's our entry box and here's our list box. It was going to create a custom tree view widget. And basically this tree view widget, um, by inheriting from it, I'm going to be able to extend this functionality so that it can take in data frames and handle the um, processing of those data frames. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a class called data table. This is basically our custom tree view widget. So TTK dot tree view. So we're going to inherit from tree view. Okay, so def underscore underscore init underscore underscore self parent super dot underscore underscore init underscore underscore and parent. Okay, so now when we initialize this data table, we need to create the um, scroll bars. So scroll underscore y is this the scroll bar for the uh, y axis? Scroll bar self. Yeah, so it's going to be attached to this tree view. So that's why we use self. The orient is basically going to be equal to vertical, so it covers the y axis. And the command is equal to self dot y view. Okay. So then scroll underscore x is equal to tk dot scroll bar self orient equals horizontal is horizontal and the command is equal to self dot x view okay and then we're going to do we're going to configure our um, tree view well this data table object that we're creating to have a y scroll command so when you scroll on the um, Y axis is going to reference this object. So Y scroll command is equal to uh, scroll underscore Y dot set. And the same with the X scroll. So scroll on the X axis. So X scroll command is equal to scroll underscore X dot set. Okay. And then we're just going to pack those scroll bars into the um, table, into the tree view. So scroll y pack side equals right. So we're going to pack the scroll bar on the right hand side, and we're going to fill the axis. So comma fill equals y axis. Okay, and then scroll. Uh, scroll underscore x dot pack the side is going to equal the bottom and the fill is going to equal the x-axis so we're going to fill the x-axis with that and then what we're going to do is we're just going to have for future use we're going to create a data frame so this is the data frame that this um, data table is going to reference so we're going to store that into the memory as a attribute so, okay, so we're just going to initialize an empty data frame. Okay, and then we're going to do, we're going to connect this data table to our search page and thus to our main um, application. So self.data uh, underscore table is going to be equal to data table and it's going to take in parents. So it's going to be bound to the parents main frame. Okay, and then self dot data underscore table dot place rel y equals zero point zero five rel x equals zero point two five rel width equals zero point seven five and rel height equals zero point nine five. Okay, so cool, I'm just going to save that. And this here is basically our tree view. So let's just make a note of that tree view. Okay, 
cool. So if I save and run, this should work. Let's see if we've done anything wrong. So let's see, so the unknown orient. So if we scroll back up, I've spelt it wrong. Orient. Okay, now if I run this, cool. So here we go. So this is basically the um, skeleton. This is basically the user interface of our application. So we've got the um, list box, the um, the tree view or the data table in our case, and the search box. So yeah, in the next video, I'll begin to create the methods that we're going to be bound into. Okay.